Now, obviously, when an event like this happens, a traumatic event, the city wants to be proactive and reactive to really help the community out. And I'm standing right in front of the Baltimore Peace Mobile right now, and I'm joined here with Rick. He is the manager. Um, tell us more in a nutshell real quick. What is the Baltimore Peace Mobile for people who haven't heard of it before? The Peace Mobile is a beacon of hope. It's a trauma healing space, a mediation space, a counseling space, and a place that the mayor's office and neighborhood safety and engagement brings into the community, as you said, proactive and reactively to provide resources to the community. Community. Things that the community comes in and say they need, those are the resources that we provide. All right, so let's go inside right now because we were in here earlier and you all have a lot of resources um, for people in this community, a lot of things that they can do uh, to really help out when a traumatic event like the one that happened on Sunday happens. So walk me through right now, what are some of the things you have in here for people that decide that they want to come in here? Sure, so what we have is things that attract the children. We want to get uh, counseling services, we want to have activities, events, um, things that they can do on here. So we have board games, we have PlayStation 5, uh, video games. Uh, we also in the back have a recording studio. So a lot of the teens, like they let out their pain through recording music. So we have a studio uh, in the back where they can come in, they can say whatever they need to to get off their, their chest. Um, and then when they leave here, they're at a more peaceful, calm space. If you also look at the, the interior, we have bright lights, you smell lavender, we yeah. have the light blue calming color. All this is done intentionally, even with the surfaces. If you look at the surfaces on the tables and things, they're, they're round surfaces, Every, uh, surfaces rather. Um, everything on here is done intentionally to stimulate senses and provide that space of peace, calm, and, and trauma healing. Really fits into the whole mental health aspect of it as well. You know, tell me, what's been the community response to the Peace Mobile? Because it's only been around for about a month, you know, literally to the day, June 2nd, literally to the day uh, that this horrific shooting happened. What's been the community response to having this here right now? The community response has been great. Uh, so the, the thing that some families don't have is usually something for their children to do while they're being serviced. So on here, again, we have games, we have people that can uh, uh, educate the children while their parent is getting that utility assistance, that rental assistance, um, that, that uh, uh, relocation service. Um, so we have things on here to keep them occupied and we've had over 200 people per day since this incident happened. Um, some may be duplicates, but we definitely have signed up over 200 people per day uh, on the bus and in our uh, uh, resource center over here. Rick, that's incredible, you know, and again, you know, this is really the first big event um, or the first big traumatic event that's happened um, since this bus came into um, into service. Thank you so much, Rick. I really Thank appreciate you. your time. Yeah. I'm going to send it back to you all in the studio. Coming up tonight on the news at 10 and 11, there's a community walk uh, that's planned here. That's happening at 6. Uh, we're going to have more on that tonight again on the news at 10 and 11. But for now, reporting live here in Brooklyn, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.